This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. This week on the Street of Dreams, most markets continue to trade at new record highs for the year, if not at all-time record highs. Year-to-date performance has been stellar, with the Dow up 11%, the S&P up 12%, the NASDAQ up 9%, and the Russell Small Company Stock Index up 16% year-to-date. As good as these numbers are, it's the value components of these indices that are driving this year's return. Small and mid-cap value stocks are both up over 20%. REITs, real estate investment trusts, are up 17%, and energy pipelines are up a whopping 27% so far this year, and it's only the end of April. As I often say to my buddy Joe, when the returns are this good this early in the year, hey, let's annualize the returns, turn off the machines, and call it a year, if only. Anyway, we're off to a great start, and it's not surprising to see value outperforming since inflation is rising, and with it, interest rates. Rising inflation and rising interest rates often correlate to value outperformance. And it's a negative not only for long-duration bonds, you know, bonds that mature in 20 or 30 years. Long-duration bond funds are already feeling the heat, down 14% year-to-date. But it's also a negative for long-duration stocks, like growth stocks. Higher yields erode the value of future cash flow, which hurts growth companies. Meanwhile, the most powerful man in Washington, our own Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, assured us once again that even though expectations for inflation are elevated, it should be temporary and rates will remain at zero for the next 33 months. I called his office and suggested he accompany his next press conference with the song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. But so far, no response, but I'll keep you posted. Economic data continues to impress, with first quarter GDP coming in at 6.4%, putting the economy right back where we were pre-pandemic, and earnings season has been one for the record books. So far, 284 S&P companies have reported, and 90% of them have beaten street estimates. Forward guidance has been extremely positive, and many companies like Apple and Alphabet have announced massive stock buybacks. What's not to like? So, what do you say, Joe? Shall we annualize our returns year to date and call it a year? I'm in. How about you? Now, if you're sitting there wondering, is my portfolio ready for rising inflation, ready for rising interest rates? Well, I sit there and wonder when you can know. My son, Ryan, and I have 65 years of industry experience of building low cost, tax efficient, goal based portfolios. If you would like a review of your portfolio, simply text or call right now, 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Or just simply call 844 PLAN NYC. That's 844 PLANNYC.